I'm the Chris who plays games, and this is your CPG rant of the evening. One of the biggest things that I think many YouTubers don't do is they are not honest with themselves about what their goals and ideas are for their channel. When you sit down and you make a YouTube channel, there's many of you who think, oh my gosh, I'm going to be the biggest success ever. And everyone has that. Absolutely, everyone has that. You think you, you don't upload these videos primarily just to talk to yourself. There's very few YouTubers who do that. Now, there are some. I'm not going to rule that out like it's a possibility. But most people, when they upload a video to YouTube, are thinking, I'm going to get at least one other person to watch this. And maybe I'm not just going to get one, but ten. And maybe I'm not just going to get ten, but a thousand. Maybe I'm not just going to get a thousand, but a, but a million. And as someone who's uploaded videos for a long time and has view videos that have 10 views and 100 views and 100,000 views and 5 million views, I understand that those are all different things and they all have different effects and they all have different things and everything else like that. But one of the things that you should do when you're sitting down to make yourself a channel is figure out what is what I'm looking for in making these videos. Am I running a business? Am I doing this for fun? Am I doing it for somewhere in between? Do I want this to be a hobby which generates enough money to pay for itself? Do I want to do something else like that and be honest with yourself? Now, before I made a video and I talked a little bit about how if you are doing money video, YouTube for money, you should sit down and treat it like a business. You should make a business plan. You should evaluate what your investments are. You should evaluate what your rewards are. You should evaluate everything else like that. But there are many people who aren't really sure that that's what they want to do. And if you're not sure what you want to do, that's okay. It is 100% fine to not be convinced that what you want to do is run YouTube as a business. I'm not convinced of that. And I do this twice a week for four hours a night. But you should be honest with yourself and introspective on how much effort you're putting in and what you expect to get out of it. Because if you don't, then you get into this weird position where you don't really know. And you don't have to tell anybody else. This doesn't have to be a thing where you write it down and post it on your channel or anything else like this. I'm not doing this for fun. In fact, you can even lie and say, I'm just only doing this for fun or whatever else like that on your channel and do something else because YouTube creators are allowed to lie. But you should still be honest with yourself about what your goals and intents are because what your intent is will drastically change how you should approach it. If your goal is to become massively popular, if your goal is to be to become the next you're not going to be the next PewDiePie because there's only one PewDiePie. But, but if your goal is to be a successful, if your goal is to make a living off of YouTube, you should make sure that that's what you know that that's what your goal is and you should work towards that. And that may mean you need to save up money and figure out how to take time off from your job. It may mean you need to hire an editor. It may mean that you need to write scripts and do a lot more work to get there. You may look at it and say, no, I just want to do this for fun. You may look at it and say, I'm a narcissistic asshole like myself, and really all I want to do is have a bunch of people love me. But you have to keep in mind that I want a bunch of people to love me is not a reward to the people who are viewing your content. And so while pretty much everyone who uploads a video to YouTube wants other people to watch it, and this is completely understandable and desirable, and I, and I get that, it is absolutely not the case that... I want other people to watch me is a reason people will watch you. The reasons that people will watch you is because you're creating interesting content that other people aren't creating. The reason that people will watch you is because you have developed a personality cult that, that centers around you. The reason people will watch you is because they can learn something they can't from other places. And as someone who has three different YouTube channels that have succeeded in three different ways, I know this. Right? I have a YouTube channel which has more than 11,000 views that is based on tutorials about live stream alerts. The reason that it gets more views than anything else is because live stream alerts has generated some amount of attention, and so the YouTube channel attached to it has generated some amount of attention, and I can get views out of that. I have a channel where I have one viral video that which went out and made me 5 million views, as well as another couple of videos that made me tens of thousands of views, and the reason that I did that is because those were sets of content that was unique, and in one case viral, and wasn't available from anywhere else. In fact, the viral video in question was parodied on Family Guy last night. So, so like, I like this is this is something that can happen. And then I have another channel, which is this one, which is my social interaction channel, where I have essentially built a cult of personality. And cults of personality aren't bad, but a cult of personality, the one at least that I've built, is a relatively small one. I love all the people who are here. I love the social connections I've been able to build with them. I love the, the feedback and the community and the discussions and everything else like that that we have during these streams. But I also realize that I'm not going to grow to be the next PewDiePie or the next Yo Soy, you know, Ola Soy German, or, or really even the next, like, you know, real engineering by building a cult of personality. And some people can't. Some people have the personality to go out there and do that, and, and that's great. 
but you should sit down and figure out what your goal is. If your goal is to go out and be someone who is able to draw a large, large audience, if your goal is to be someone who is able to pull in hundreds of thousands of views and make a living off of your channel, if your goal is to be able to do all of these different things, you should be realistic in analyzing yourself because self-introspection and understanding is important here. And, and I have trouble with this, right? Like I look at other people who are successful and I feel, I feel jealous. I feel absolute jealousy of other people who succeed more than me. In some cases, because I look at them and say, well, you're not any better than I am. And, and whether that's true or not is irrelevant. It, it, it's, it's not about that. It's about the investment. And sometimes people get lucky and they're able to succeed without any more investment than anybody else, more or less, in the same way that a business is. If, you know, they happen to luck into a spot that gets a lot of foot traffic that didn't before and they are able to rent it for the same price as everybody else, you can have a successful business without doing anything different than the person who's two blocks down off of the street because you got lucky and suddenly, like, the road pattern changed and everyone walks by your business now. These things happen. But for the most part, the people who succeed are the people who put in the work. And so if you want to succeed, you're going to have to put in the work and you don't have to succeed. You don't have to make it a goal. You don't have to make it anything else like that, but you should be honest with yourself about what your goals are and how you're going to reach them. Because if you don't do that, then you'll end up in a situation where you think that you're failing at your goals because YouTube views are zero sum game and other people have stolen my idea or YouTube views are like going to this other person and I'm competing with them and anything else like that. But the reality is that YouTube rewards good content. I've seen it again and again and again. YouTube rewards good content. And that's not because YouTube like has some magical good content detector. It's because humans reward good content. So if what you want to do is be successful, you're going to have to produce good content. Producing good content requires a ton more time and effort than the average YouTuber puts in. And if you look at TV and movies and other things like that, the amount of money and effort that they put into each minute of video is a hundred times what the average YouTuber puts into it. And there's plenty of room to succeed if you do that. But until you do, if you come to me and you cry that I'm not being popular, I'm not being happy, no one's coming and seeing me, I'll say you just got, there's more room to do better. There's more room to do better. And you don't have to. But if you're going to complain, I can't get popular. You should make sure that you're doing everything that you would need to do in order to do so. I'm the Chris Who Plays Games. This has been your CPG rant of the evening. Whether you're watching this in morning, evening, or night, thank you very much for watching. And have a great day. See, you thought right now that Comcast froze, but in reality it didn't freeze. I just sat really still for a little bit.